Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here. Welcome to episode 2 of the European Titles Challenge here in Andorra with Lusitans. Lusitans? Lusitans, whatever it is. Um, we're in Andorra and yeah, we're halfway through the league season. We have played 7, if my very, very quick, I won't call it maths, but yeah, um, is correct. And yeah, we've got 7 more matches to go, so we're directly halfway through the season and we play Angordani in our 8th game of the season today. So yeah, we're currently sitting in third place. Um, we've made a bit of a poor start to the year, going down 2-1 to Engordani, um, who I have had a previous save before. We went ahead quite nicely through Diego Mourinho, but Ivan, uh, Iban Rivero um, got to either side of half-time to give Engordani the win. We couldn't, we couldn't get a goal back, um, despite, yeah, trying. <laughs> um, we then, yeah, we went down, uh, we, sorry, we didn't go down, we went, we won 1-0 away at uh, St. Julia, though it's not really away. Um, Alexandra Martinez got the only goal of the game, and yeah, we, um, it was made safe when Matamala got sent off for St. Julia. Um, we then played uh, league favourites, and I think they've just gone into the league because they just beat the other Santa Coloma. Um, we drew with them 2-2, and we led twice in this game, and perhaps should have gone on to win it. Um, Edgardo Meza and Rafael Brito with the goals for us. Toscano and Gomez, their goals. Then got two more wins in a row. Beat Encamp 1 0. Um, yeah, they got two men sent off in this. And yeah, Rodrigo Gaia's 17th minute goal was all we needed. Then a fantastic match against Inter Descaldes. Descaldes? I don't know. Um, yeah, we fell behind twice. Victor Ibora um, gave him a lead. Motter equalised before half time. Pina get, re regained their lead. And yeah, we equalised again, 10 minutes from time, Ludovic Clement, get, Clement uh, getting that goal. And then Quim, Kim, Kim Salvat, um, yeah, gave us the win 6 minutes from time. Uh, yeah, we then drew with Ordino, this was a bit of a disappointing performance. We went, we were 2-0 up with 7 minutes to go. And yeah, we relinquished the lead. Rodrigo Gaida, who's yeah done very well up front, and Ludovic Clement with the goals. Ernesto Pessoa with the 2-4. Um, yeah, Ordino in the last seven minutes or so. Um, so yeah, and then we played UE Santa Coloma in the final game of the first half of the season, and we went down 3-2. All the goals in a very short period of time between the 11th and 33rd minutes, and four of them between the 11th and 21st, so yeah, four goals in 10 minutes. Gaida gave us the lead, um, Riera equalised, Bruninho um, then yeah, regained the leaders for us, Riera once again equalised, and then he completed his hat-trick, and there were no more goals from there. So UE Santa Coloma um, if we'd have won that game, we would have gone top on goal difference. Um, but as it stands, we're third, and we are now. Oh God! Okay, yeah, that's that's bef that's um. We've got a game in hand, but we are currently six points behind Sa FC Santa Coloma, who just beat UE Santa Coloma the other day, um, four two. So a win today would take us one point behind UE Santa Coloma and three points behind FC Santa Coloma, and yeah, we're still definitely in the shout for um, for winning the league. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the cup, it hasn't happened yet. The first round draws on the 21st, and then yeah, there's only four rounds. Um, it's just yeah, the first and second divisions. What I've realised is in the second division, the B team is actually in the second division. So there's quite a lot of people in second division. I don't know why there's random green. Do those people get promoted? I don't know how that works. What is that? FC Santa Coloma B. So maybe all the B sides, yeah, don't count in promotion. So currently. Genial, FC Masana, Peña, Encarnada, and Athletic Escaldes are the four top non-B side teams, so they're the ones that can get promoted. I'm guessing that's what that means. Um, so yeah, we doing quite well, and we've got Engordani today. Will be um, yeah, the, the loss to them was particularly disappointing because they're not up there in the league. They're sixth. Which I think where they predicted to finish, and yeah, they beat us on the opening day, which is a bit disappointing. In terms of transfers, yeah, um, a lot of players. Well, a lot of um, what to say is when you do very low teams like this. I did this with Fiji at the start. You go on the under 19s and you get the backed up players and offer them contracts, and some of them are usually quite good. Those two were the only decent ones, and they're not really that decent. To be, um, excuse me, to be fair. Um, so yeah, I had to re release a lot of them, but they were all on amateur contracts, so it didn't cost me a thing. Two players that actually we lost are Andres Benitez, um, this goalkeeper, who was the best goalkeeper at the time, but he went to FC Santa Coloma, and now I've brought in one that's much better, called Oriel Oliva. There he is from FC Andorra. Uh, FC Andorra will come up a lot there, sort of. It's a bit like the San Marino Calcio team in Italy. 
uh, FC Andorra play in Primera Catalana in Spain. Um, I wonder if they use no, they okay, but they use the stadium which is in Andorra exactly. Um, but they uh, play in Spain. So yeah, that's them. But yeah, we've we've signed a few players and them. Ludovic Clement is another one who's quite good from them. Um, a lot of players that we signed we released straight away. But yeah, another um, devastating departure. It's Oscar Sanji. I um, said at the beginning that he was our best player by far, and a Tromatos came in for him, and we can only offer him an amateur contract, and yeah, there was nothing going to stop him. Um, so yeah, he played for FC Andorra for a number of years, I went to FC Santa Coloma, then to Churchill Brooks in the I-League, as you do, but back to us, and then yeah, off to a Tromatos in Greece. That's pretty good for a 38-year-old Andorran person to get land a... Um, a Greek team to buy them. Obviously, we can't buy them back. Well, I guess we could just put in a zero pounds offer. Nah, oh, shame. Um, but yeah, it, I think the best thing to do in terms of transfers is just go through my senior squad. So this is it. There is twenty one people in it. Uh, two goalkeepers. Oriol Oliva is the main first team goalkeeper. Ricardo Fernandez is very aging. Um, and yeah, he does a lot. We, we there are a lot of Portuguese people available to us. Um, and yeah, we've got three in the starting lineup, but yeah, mostly Andorans. There's a few Argentine, a few one Brazilian, and a uh, Spanish guy, um, as you'd expect, because they're like sort of well, Brazil and Argentina are owned or used to be or what used to be colonized by Port Portugal and, uh, and Spain. Um, so yeah, those kind of Latin countries are likely to join um, an Andorran club. So yeah. If we look at the positions again, so they're the two goalkeepers. Rafael Brito is fantastic. He is, yeah, one of our best players. He is plays right back and defensive mid, which are both positions in my formation, which, yeah, he is quite versatile. Oriol Fite, he's nice for a rotation. He's not particularly amazing, but he can fit in a right back and left back, which is often useful. Millie Garcia, just a centre back. It's fairly decent. Feel, um, yeah, he's actually, yeah, he's, one of, he's another one of quite of our best players. David Manero, he is yeah, he's a bit of a backup um, centre back. He's the third best according to this. Um, so yeah, he's decent. Um, and then finally, Alexandre Martinez is probably the second best centre back. Yeah, he yeah, he's just quite solid and he does a job. Um, Diego Abdian, the uh, Argentine guy, fills in left back when well, he's basically the only left back that we could sign. There there wasn't a lot of options. There was like thirty six people on my realistic transfers. I pretty much got a scout for all of them apart from Christian at this point. Um, might as well do it for three months. That's what we're paying the people for. Uh, what is he, a right back? We don't really need a right back, we need a left back. But yeah, um, yeah, going back to squad. So yeah, Abdian is the best left back. He's also um, one of the foreign contingencies. Jamal Zaria is Zario. 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 That guy, um, he fits in at defensive mid, but can go in midfield. I've been training in midfield because originally that was orange, and he can also play centre back. Wait, have I been training in midfield? Yeah, have. Because um, often, like I, I just play that rather than that because sometimes it fits in better with the players that are most fit. Um, but yeah, this is my usual formation. I pretty much kept it since last. I've changed a few of the player roles, but I did try putting some instructions on, but. None of them really work. Like the opposite happened. Like I put on retained possession, and we kept losing possession. And I think it's just simpler for teams like this just to try and learn the basics, which is yeah, I put control structured as mentality and team shape. Um, and yeah, target man and advance forward has changed. Attacking the field has changed. Oh wait, no, it hasn't. Wing the field attacks. No, that hasn't changed. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty much the same. It's just those front two that I've changed player roles of. Um, yeah, uh, so go back to squad, where am I? Where was I? I'm on Victor Hugo, he's the left mid. We have a few left mids, but yeah, he fits in nicely when he can. Um, he is essentially the best uh, player there. There's uh, two players that play weirdly the exact same positions, like midfield left, attacking midfield left, attacking midfield central. Riera fits in nicely in both. Um, attacking midfield left is his best position, but that's not enough formation. And yeah, he can do a solid job when needed, as can Meza. Um, who I think yeah is mainly attacking midfield central. They can fit in in both positions, and yeah, he he's just does the job when needed. He's a bit more of a backup compared to Riera and Victor Hugo. Uh, Ger Gerard Alloy is just a centre mid who I am training for defensive mid. I think yeah, but he's obviously not playing it at all right now. Um, and yeah, I to be honest, I don't see the point. He's not particularly amazing. 
But it, yeah, again, another backup. We need we need players to be honest. I assigned as many players as possible who were not completely awful. This guy, Bruninho, he is sensational. He is the main right winger, five star everything. He's just found fantastic. Renato Motta, who is not bad himself, doesn't get a game because obviously Bruninho just um, yeah plays our every game. And yeah, that's Renato Motta, and he will he'll probably be retiring soon. But yeah, Bruninho when he's unfit, um, Motta fits in. Ludovic Clermont, he's done very well at attacking midfield central. Yeah, solid player. Again, a very uh, influential figure. Um, Joel Martinez, he yeah, he's, he's very good. He plays attacking midfield and striker. He is um, a solid player. I can yeah, he's versatile compared to this kind of squad. And then we have we have quite a few strikers. We have more originally, but I, I released them. So yeah, uh, Rodrigo Guy has got quite a few goals this term. Michael's meant to be our best player. But he's he's been injured for quite a long time. Coming back in one day, Kim Selbat uh, picks up a goal sometimes, but yeah, he's mainly a backup. And uh, Diego Marino does quite well. He gets goals occasionally, and he's he's a bit kind of one for the future. But yeah, he's he's 22 already, so it might not get that much better. But there you go. There's the squad. Um, she plays in the under 19s. She's got a decent potential B team. Uh, I think these are all first team people. Oh, okay. There's one guy. Oh, I think he's another one. That's yeah. I, I, why is he still? Like, oh, I should just release him. Um, I'm gonna release him. Though he is a decent player, his potential to be a good one for the Premier Division, which is pretty bad considering he's only gonna be one, maybe two stars. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the team for today. Uh, Oliver in goal. I hope I went quick, but subconsciously I do that a lot. Um, Oriol Fite, a right back. Emily Garcia is Emily. Emily Garcia and David Minero at centre back. Diego Abdian on the left. Rafael Brito. Um, in defence mid, Renato Motta on the right as Brunino is a little bit low on fitness, Riera on the left, Ludovic Clement in attacking the field, Diego Mourinho and Rodrigo Gaida, probably my best scorers. Um, yeah, actually, let's have a look at that. So, appearances so far, only two people have played every single game, Brito and, o and Oliva. In terms of goals, uh, we got three for Gaida, two for Clement, and yeah, one each for Brito. Motta, Mourinho, Alexandre Martinez, Meza, uh, Brininho, and Kim Salvat. In terms of average rating, uh, Ludovic Clement's been by far the best. Wow, that's, yeah, that's quite good. And then Rafael Brito is the only other person above seven. And then, yeah, Renato Motta completes the top three. So, we'll submit this team. And, yeah, we'll go into this match against Engeldani. We're looking for a revenge. I'll probably do that as a team talk. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll give them some passion. I have faith in you because they always help. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> um, there we go. And everyone's happy apart from Riera, who's nothing specific noted. So yeah, we're playing red and green because they're sort of like the Portuguese influence. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really positive about our chances this season. Uh, I think we will definitely win either this season or next season. And yeah, I'm not sure about the cup, but uh, I'll give it my best shot. And then we can move on to Gibraltar San Marino or the next person, which I think is Wales. Another thing that I've neglected to mention last episode, I've got here on my notebook, the teams that have League Cups, which I have to win to, England, obviously, um, France, it's Garcia picks up the ball, Riera, Gaida, oh, it's a big goal mass scramble and Clement, Clement couldn't get it in. So yeah, England, France, Finland, Gibraltar, Hungary, Iceland, Israel, Northern Ireland, Portugal, Ireland, Romania, Romania Scotland and Wales. So all the home nations as Ludovic Clement gives us the lead stops my list um, in the middle and yeah um, let's see it it's played in Clement his first shot is blocked and he fires in the second one sorry if the replay speed is a little bit fast but yeah I was just doing that um, for my offline play but if you want to show it down put it in the comments or whatever um, and Gordani having a bit better possession in the recent 10 minutes but oh we just hit the bar I think um, but overall our possession is dominant so yeah I don't know who that was that took their free kick I, my eye was off it but yeah it looks quite good um, Ooh, things are going well. I know you keep people even better, more passionate. I have faith in you. Always help morale. Um, and we'll just see the opposition instructions again. See if my assistant has m noticed anything. He wants to always tighten up all under Costa. Clearly, he's um, creating some issues. Uh, so no one else really up there is playing today. And Camp are our nearest. Tr to be yeah, it's literally the bottom three and us um, playing today. So here's Gida. Gaida, Motta, play it in, Pereira clears, and Romero can further clear. 
Emily Garcia wins that. Preto, nice tackle, but they're going to get on that. Silvera to Molina. Forward to Rivero. He's got time and space here. And that's a good save from Olivo. Really good, because, yeah, it's, we've only got a fragile 1-0 lead. There's still danger, though. Costa to Romero. Brito, great tackle. Now, can we get it to one of the strikers? He's found Mourinho. There's two men in the middle. He instead finds Riera, kind of weirdly. He's got an overlap man. He finds Abdian. Back to Riera. Now he's just... Oh, OK. <laughs> uh, not really sure what was meant to happen there, but, yeah. Corner, Motta, Garcia, Gaida, back out to Motta. In, it's, well, Riera smashed it in. That's what I know. And it's 2 0 Lusitans. Uh, Lusitans, sorry if I'm butchering these names. If you're Andorran, please correct me. Um, Motta, Mourinho played it in. It sort of hit Molina and Riera fired it in past Pierre in the uh, Engadani goal. Uh, so it's high time we should make some changes as they have a quick, they have a highlight here. But Brito does fantastically. He is very, incredibly consistent, Brito. Um, yeah, he's a good little player. Abdian into Riera, Brito, Clermont, through to Mourinho. Mourinho, oh, Pierre smashes that away. It's Brito, it's Clermont. Forward towards Mourinho. Oh, you've got to score that. Oh, guilt edge chance to make it 3 0 and completely make the game safe. Um, I'm going to make some subs. Who's the tiredest? Riera's tired. But yeah, there's, a, there's not a lot of choice who can play. Well, I know what I'll bring on Zario. I have got a plan here. And then Brito swap with him. Brito swap with Vita. And then him swap with him. So Abdian sort of plays there. He's a wing back. To be honest, he doesn't actually play there at all. But I'm sure. I'm sure he'll, he's the best alternative at this point. Um, actually, I should make a few more subs. Uh, the centre backs both look tired. Well, I'll bring off Manero simply because his rating is slightly lower. And I'll bring on Brininho to see him in action um, because it would be a crime not to, not to let you guys see him um, at his best I'm sure he won't even be involved at all in the next bit but uh, yeah that's a nice goal kick up to Gida give it to Bruninho he's there he's there oh, Clement I also like his name Bruninho Preto uh, Mourinho it's, what just happened <laughs> it hit the post at the back of Pierre and then Pierre just sort of like reached out behind him just about grabbed it um, yeah, this is going to go into an extra time, and I think we're going to get the win here. Bruninho, there you go, he got a touch. Clement, Zario, Clement, uh, Clement, Bruninho. Ah, oh, that's poor Bruninho. Poor for his standards. As Garcia cuts out nicely, Zario, Ramirez, Menido, Costa, Jardim, Bruninho, Rivera's through! And that's a good little save from Olivo. Keeping his clean sheet. Well deserved. Or will he? No, Rivera is well offside. And that should about do it. Yes, full time here at Camp de Football de Skeldes Engordani. Um, I think I just about call that. Uh, yeah, we've beaten Engordani. Got revenge on the open day with a nice 2 0 victory. Um, oh, Santa Clara got them soon. We want them to lose that. So, right now, um, we are still third but only a point behind second and three points behind top. So, yeah, we're definitely still in this title race. Um, just do that quickly. And, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. Built up a decent squad, and we're definitely going to challenge, if not this year, next year. So I will join you back for the last day of the season against UE Santa Coloma. They are probably a, quite a big title rival, and, yeah, that might be key. But um, I'll see you then. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like. If you have any questions put it in the comments for section and if you want to see more subscribe. I've been here from Gaffer. See you guys next time.